Uppity Unicorn here. I'm so grateful to have you here with me. I want you to please fix your eyes on exhibit A. Oh my gosh. Lil Lamar so be so tired of her parents. Like she has these subtle moments where if you watch her, I, and look, I think, what is it? I think this is Macy, the one who's uh, looking towards the, uh, towards the camera. So this image, you have Letitia kind of behind my logo that is very much paid for. It's been paid for for years. I don't know why I've seen it in other places anyhow. Um, and then you have Macy and then you have little Mila, little Mila in the blue hair. She's so precious, just such a precious baby. Anyhow, Macy has middle child energy. I think she's the middle kid. I'm not quite sure. But when I tell you she don't have no time for her parents, shenanigans, I mean, <laughs> if girl get to the point with a person, it would be Macy. Macy don't have no time for these lies. She don't got no time for these charades, these charades. <laughs> Look at her. Now, this is a still shot, right? This is uh, their actual hair commercial for their uh, Macy and Mila Beauty something. I don't know. But um, she she just can't be bothered. Like, she's, she spent already just at the sound of her mom's voice. It's hilarious. She tries to, you know, cooperate. But then she has these subtle breaks in character. Like, God, dang, if you would just... <laughs> Listen... This is, um, here's what I wanted to say about this, right? Because you had Letitia in one of the more recent episodes pretending to be um, Mel and the Eminem kids. So Mel and the Eminem kids, you know, they have their assembly line for 7th Avenue and for Sugar Mama. They do all this boxing. They do all this pairing. They they understand the orders. They sing and they work simultaneously. and they're And they can do that because they're used to it, all right? Now... In my personal opinion, I believe that when Martel was blinded by trying to stick it to Mel, I think one of the ways he tried to stick it to Mel was getting the kids off the show and off social media. Like, haha, if I can't capitalize off of their presence, neither can you. And I think someone advised him to do that. And I think that someone was Marceau. And the Scots did not want their kids on TV as much without a script. But now that the Eminem kids and Mel have demonstrated, bas basically like giving them a script or a blueprint, it's like, okay, we can have our kids on TV now because now we know what to do. <laughs> we're just gonna do exactly what Mel did. Now we're gonna create this assembly line. Now we're gonna, you know, everything but singing, it's a hard knock life. I've heard a couple of content creators say that and I'm repeating it because it's true, <laughs> okay? But, you never see this energy from the Eminem kids. And and the thing is that that's not a diss on Macy, right? This is this is not a diss on Macy. But the reason you never see this energy from the Eminem kids is because what they're doing on TV, they're really doing in real life. What they're doing when the cameras are rolling, they're really doing when the cameras are not rolling. And they're really excited about it because their mom involves them in so much of it. Whereas you can tell Macy's been dragged along into something. Just, just, just smile and wave, boys. Just, just sit, look pretty, whatever. Just participate, like this. You can tell this is not something they're just regularly doing. But of course, you have the littlest, and I know this because I was the youngest girl. But when you're the littlest, you're, you you kind of don't know what's going on. You're just kind of chipper and happy. You love everybody, and people will use that energy to make it seem like they're doing something more than what they are, right? So when Macy's not in the mood, <laughs> when Macy don't got time for her parent shenanigans, she tosses a look, and then they know to just go straight to Macy. They're like, hi, I mean, to Mila. They're like, hi, Macy, Mwah, Mila, right? Because, you know, Mila, Mila is going to reciprocate because she's a baby. You know, she doesn't she doesn't see her parents in the way that the older kids see her parents. I remember MJ was sitting at the table with his parents, and he looked at Letitia like, I would never let my spouse talk to me like this. What, what are you doing? <laughs> he was so disappointed in how his dad was talking to his mom. And so, you know, they leak because children are a lot more sincere than adults. So here is my Lord have mercy. Let me uh, turn this mug off or something. 
Lord have mercy. Uh, go on ahead and like the video. Actually, you know what's really important to me? My channel gets struck a lot by other content creators. Um, I have a channel that is not necessarily watched by the people, but I have a channel that is often watched by content creators, many of whom I love, I watch religiously, whatever else. But because of beef and jealousy, I have a channel that is highly stricken. Now, I don't really I don't usually get any penalties from that because there's nothing to strike. These are false flags. But what that does when people strike your channel so much, it does get you to a point where your channel can become shadow banned. And shadow banned just means it's no longer being pushed through the algorithm. It's not being recommended to a whole lot of people. Lord have mercy, ring after ring after ring. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so I'm I'm not going to answer because I want to finish my video. Anyhow, all I wanted to say before my phone and everything started going off. <sighs> Y'all hang on because hell no. This is a hair video, and all I wanted to say is you're selling a hair care product and nobody's real hair is out. Mama has a wig. Babies have braids. Nobody's real hair is out. I'm like, what kind of sense does this make? This isn't well thought out. I feel like maybe there was a deadline to record. Maybe there was a deadline to make the commercial for Macy and Mila Beauty, and it's just like, all right, everybody, come on, let's get together and do it. And I'm like, girl... You didn't even dress your kids for this. You didn't even prepare your kids for this. They're over here with like braids that are, you know, it's time to take down. You can look at the braids and see that it's time to take down. I mean, part of what is good about this is that you can see that there's new growth. So maybe it suggests that the product is working, but I'm just like, how are y'all fil filming a hair commercial with nobody's real hair out? And I know they do that little quick snapshot of, oh, let's swing our real hair and they and they superimpose a little image in there. But I'm like, no, this is sloppy. This is not how this commercial was supposed to be made. This looks like, uh, it looks like a YouTube video. Compare this to when Mel did her lemon drop and she was kind of like, uh, you could tell she was in a studio. You could tell there was, you know, a backdrop, lights, camera, action, whatever. And she's like kind of rolling the little lemon drop things from her 7th Avenue connection. That's a commercial. That's an advertisement. This? I don't know. And then she doesn't even dress her kids for the occasion. Uh, not on, I don't have the video on my channel, but I think trending at some point has it. I think, uh, what's this, uh, Miss Talkative has it talking out loud where you can see this entire commercial, but it just is poorly put together. It's kind of sloppy and it makes me wonder the way this is being handled makes me wonder if this is why Marceau is not going to change when it comes to handling Stormy. Remember, Stormy sat Letitia down and was like, is there a way you can wrangle him in? Can you reel him in somehow? Can you corral this man? Can you keep him from behaving in a certain way? And Tisha was like, absolutely. And then she goes back to Marceau and tries to intercede on behalf of Stormy. And he's just like, I'm not changing a damn thing. In other words, you can't wrangle me, you can't reel me in, you can't bring me to heal. There's there's nothing you can do. I'm going to keep responding to Stormy in this way. And I wonder if maybe that's why, like, he looks at what Letitia has going on with Stormy and decides not to value it. Because this, just like that fake assembly line, like like it was all poorly put together. And it's like, if you really do this, there are certain details that you just kind of can't miss. So I got messages on my phone and I need to return another phone call on another phone. So I got to go like, share, comment, subscribe. But what I, if you don't subscribe and if you don't like the video, what I need you to do, because my channel is shadow banned and that keeps my views low, please share the video. The cure to shadow banning of a channel is sharing the video. When the video is shared, it negates those those flags and things. So um, some of my videos, I see people comment. They're like, why doesn't this have more views? And I'm like, my channel is shadow banned. <laughs>
it's not getting pushed through the algorithm. So again, the cure for that is sharing. You can text a video to someone. You can post it on your own community wall if you have a YouTube channel. But anyhow, uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below about this hair commercial with nobody's real hair in it. Because me personally, I, I mean, I can't. Even when Beyonce was wearing all the wigs and all the weaves and all the lace fronts in the world, when they got her to do commercials for L'Oreal or whatever it was, it was only ever her real hair. Like, that's just kind of how it goes. That's all I got and got no more. Let me know how you feel in the comments.